Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Cryptomina. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you are doing well. Today we are going to talk about EOS. You have, I know you have heard about EOS. EOS is a blockchain platform for the development of a decentralized application known as the app. It is very similar to Ethereum. That's why you hear a lot of time when people talk about EOS, they also talk about Ethereum or they just compare it with Ethereum. It actually provides you a complete uh, operating system for the development of your decentralized application. We are not going to discuss which one is better or which one is not. This video is to talk about how you can get your EOS and if you have your EOS uh, on an exchange, how can you get an account for EOS and what is the requirement and also how can you have your own private keys saved. Also have your wallet. So there's different uh, um, options for you to do that. So let's get started. I want to tell you when I started creating this video, um, I was towards the end of the video and by the time I realized I was like 15 minutes into the video and realized I did not have my mic plugged in. So I was just talking to walls. So I have to redo the video. So I hope I will remember to go as thoroughly as I did in the first run. Okay, so right now EOS is trading around seven, uh, five dollars seventy cents. If you want to buy EOS, uh, the easiest option is to go to Binance. It's available there. You can buy it against BTC, ETH, BNB, or US Dollar. So very simple. If you have a Binance account, you can buy it from there. Now, if you already have your Binance ac uh, account and you have EOS there. Well, good. But one of the things is that if you have, it's never recommended to keep or leave your uh, tokens on an exchange for an extended period of time. It's just not safe. And uh, also that if you have your EOS on an exchange, since you are not the owner of the private key, you are missing out on the free airdrops. So you're missing out and um, you want to be in control of your token. So you need to have your own ac or an account. So now how can we do that? I'm going to show you a website and I will leave the link down below in the description. So do not click on anything else. Try to use this website or search for it because there are a lot of fishing websites out there. And when you are putting your private keys or public um, private information in there, you want to be very, very careful. I will talk about one of the example why the private keys are so expensive so so important um but let's get to the point first this is eos account creator and here they talk about this is the service they're providing and why they're providing the way the eos work is that the new account can be only created by somebody with an existing account such a cool thing and an existing existing account can also require to stake a certain amount of eos and to buy some ram now if you create an account on eos account creator um, it will come with 0.2 EOS uh, stake for CPU and it will come with 4K, uh, 4KB RAM. Now, this method of creating your account is not free, but it's not very expensive and I totally believe it's totally worth the cost. Okay, now you have to choose your account name. EOS allows you to choose your 12 character account name it must be 12 characters you can only use lower uh, case characters and digits but up to five uh, this is easier in the way that long a lot of time when we are sending uh, tokens or coins to some other address we have like a long string of alphanumeric characters and it's very difficult to remember i don't know uh, if there are people who actually remember it but now if you have like 12 character long name which you can choose probably you will choose something easier to remember so that's how it will work now i'm going to put something in here so i just uh, put an account number and a little t checkbox here in green tells me that they have validated it and it's available so i'm going to click continue and here it will ask me to provide public keys now remember the public key is something that you can actually give it to somebody and it's fine but the private key and there's a name saying private there's a reason for it you cannot share with anybody and make sure you write it down in safe place do not leave it on as something that is connected to computer internet public keys um, you need 
a generator. So one of the easiest way is to go here, simple Java generator. I will leave the uh, link down in the description. And one more thing you have to remember with EOS, you have two public keys called honor and active public keys. And then you have similarly two private keys, honor and active. Private key, you must, must, must keep it to yourself. You cannot share it with anybody, but public key, it is fine. Now you can have the same public key, but for the additional uh, security, they recommend that you have separate. So you have to go to the simple JavaScript generator twice to get two pairs. So for example, this is the first time I'm going to the website and it generated two keys for me, private and public. Open a notepad, put in here, and then I'm going to open another, uh, generate another set of keys for myself and copy and paste it in a notepad. Since this is for demo purpose, so I'm showing you the private keys, but this is not the one account that I'm going to use. So this is fine, but please remember not to share your private key with anybody. Now, if you want to keep it like that, you're going to put it, this is your honor public key, and this is your honor private key. This is your active public key, and this is your active private key. So both pairs, two are honor and two are active. Or if you want to put them together like this, that makes sense as well. So now your private keys are together and your public keys are together. Now here I'm going to copy my public key and put in here, copy my other public key and put in here. Remember, both can be the same, but for additional security, we choose them to be different. Now you click on continue. It validates your keys. If they're good, they will take you to the last step. And this is the payment step. They have three options. You can pay through the credit card, cryptocurrency, or you can use EOS. I use the cryptocurrency option. I pay, paid in ETH and it was around $7. Now, if you want to pay through the credit card, which is convenient, you have to pay a little bit more and then it's computed $7.11. It is $9.70, a little bit more expensive. Um, once you have selected your payment option, you uh, select this, uh, I accept the privacy policy and then click on the credit card payment or whatever the payment method you have selected. After that, if you have selected the um, cryptocurrency payment method, it will show you the address and the amount you have to send. Once they confirm, I think it's like a certain number of uh, confirmation they required once it was 10 in case of ETH. Uh, once they get the 10 ETH uh, uh, confer <laughs> confirmations, uh, it will move forward and your account will be created. Now, one of the easiest way to see your account is you come to this block explorer. I will leave the link down below in the description again. It is B-L-O-K-S dot IOS. And here you can put in your account number. Remember the 12 correct account number you created, you put in here and see what's going on. So once they create the account, it will be automatic. Hopefully you will not have any issue. In case you have an issue, uh, they have a very active Telegram community uh, where you can reach out to them and they will help you. Angelo was a person I was um, speaking to. I will leave the link in the description again. Now, once you have done that, the next step is you have your account ready. Okay, cool. Now what you want to do is to have your desktop wallet. The reason why you want to have your desktop wallet is you want to take advantage of your your own ownership, your uh, honor of your EOS um, uh, tokens, and you want to, once you can actually vote for different apps so if that's something that fancy you, you can definitely do that. And thirdly, you will get the free airdrops, which is quite frequent and you don't want to miss out on them. So I'm going to talk about different option here. So EOS, uh, RIO.io. Uh, this is a website I will leave in the description. So you know which one to go to. This is called simple EOS. And as the name same, it is very simple. And if you have used Exodus in past, you will find it is very, very similar to that. Um, this is a desktop wallet, so if you uh, have Windows, you can download Windows, Mac, or Linux, depending on what you have. Once you download it, you can open it here and it will show you different options. You can import an existing key. So remember, we just created an account. We have private and public keys. Here you will put your private key and import that account. So CryptoMina4 account that I created, I will be able to start using it on my desktop. 
um, that will be the option you will come here and you'll start now if there is an option to create a new account and you will say like why we didn't use this option to create an account why did we go to a different account and uh, use that one options uh, so let me explain you why we did that so uh, once you um, um, come here it will tell you you have to read it up um, it's simple you also simple there is no transaction fee but first time when you set up accounts you have to at least pay for some ram and you select your account number and then you um, select your private or public keys um, you can select or input it here or click on this generate key pairs and it will generate it for you please remember to write it down once you have written it down you can click on this one and move forward then it will tell you to in order to create this account this is the amount of cpu and the ram they will require so this is the amount of eos you have to send before you can continue now the the uh, five, fifth and the final step is you have to send the payments. Now here is the issue where I got stuck and I didn't use this one. In order to send this, um, uh, set up this whole thing, you have to send 1.4 for EOS, which I'm fine with. Um, I send EOS, pay through the credit card or um, another crypto. That is fine. That is same to me. But the problem here is this memo. So you see, this is a memo. You can see it's a quite a long string and i was using uh binance so i have my tokens on binance and when i was trying to send my 1.4407 euros from binance to this this recipient this address 12 character let me show you uh, let's go to binance here i have input everything here and this is a, a memo where i have to put this memo and you have to put that memo in because otherwise if there is no way for them to identify where you are sending basically this has your private uh, sorry public keys not private keys now if you click on submit remember you can um, you have to withdraw at least point two yours so when you click on submit you will get error it will call I think it's called invalid tax which is very confusing the error is because of this long memo Binance doesn't take this long uh, memo they have a correct restriction around like 9 or 12 so this is a, like a long memo string and you cannot put that in now the other option is you click on no memo if you do that it will get rid of the memo part and you can submit your uh, transaction well if you do that your transaction will be rejected um, it will not accept it so you're stuck so there is no way I tried it several times I have few failed transactions and rejected transaction and there was nothing was happening the reason was again because of this memo error which is not very descriptive it's a it's invalid tag so remember if you're getting the invalid tag error that is because of this so my option that was I cannot send EOS to create my account I need another option where I can send either credit card payment or other cryptocurrency so that was uh, I use uh, EOS account created that worked perfectly fine as long as you know where to put your private and public keys and save your private keys you are good you have nothing to worry about um, if you do it right now coming back to simple EOS uh, after you click that you can click on finish and you'll be done uh, import a backup this is if you already have your backup from simple EOS and you want to import into another account you can do that and you can also generate the keys so if you don't want to use the simple javascript uh, generator for keys you can uh, create your keys from here as well that's one option the other option for you is this one scatter same thing you come here download the wallet and use it i prefer simple eos this support is very good and then there is another option this is called infinito wallet this is for your cell phones smartphones they have an ios app and as well as android app which is very good you can go ahead and download it and this is not just only for EOS you can save your different cryptocurrency here they say Bitcoin Ethereum Bitcoin Cash EOS Litecoin Gas Dash and EDC Dogecoin as well and all. the problem with this one is they were giving out the free um, you need a referral for EOS uh, wallet and they were giving a free referral codes for that one that campaign has just Finished. so right now there's nothing going on but I will leave the um, link to their telegram channel so if you join that you will see if in future they um, offer the free uh, wallet code in that case you don't have to pay anything and you can get the free wallet the one thing that I remember I told you I have an interesting story to talk about this is regarding the private keys so 
here is your blog explorer. I want to talk about this person because he, um, he or she, I don't know um, the gender, but this person talked about it and um, talked about the mistake he made, and I can totally see it why. Uh, this is very simple um, mistake that anybody can do. So what he or she was doing, I'm going to refer to he uh, because it's easier. Um, he transferred his token, and this is his account. So he transfers some tokens, uh, EOS tokens here, and then um, when you put your EOS token into simple EOS, it is uh, automatically staked. So um, except 10 token, everything else is staked. So when you have um, your token stake, it means that you can take part in voting. But once you unstake them, you have to wait for a period of time before you can move your a token out or withdraw whatever you want to do you have to wait for a certain period of time the reason is that they don't want people to abuse the power of voting so you can just stake and stake vote and then move on so it just becomes very uh, volatile condition so they do that and automatically once you send it you have to wait for a few days and before you can um, move them around so what happened this guy actually sent some money uh, some EOS token and here uh, he stopped uh, unstaking them and here you can see in the memo so remember I told you there is a line for memo where you can just put some transaction or whatever you're doing like it's like just subject line so in a memo he accidentally put his private key this is his private key and what happened was that as soon as he did that look at this one this was a transaction done right after um, uh, his um, uh, accounts were here he put the um, a private key in the memo and then he unstaked them and after he unstaked them here somebody uh, transferred his 64 EOS tokens uh, out of his wallet so from this guy this is the account number and this is the other account number EOS Robin Good so somebody EOS Robin Good actually transfer the tokens from here to his account 64 tokens and you can clearly see how did he did it all you needed was his account number obviously and the private key and the private key he accidentally put in the memo he there definitely this is a mistake I'm sure he didn't want to do it but accidentally maybe he was copying maybe he wanted to put something else in there and instead he didn't realize that um, in the clipboard uh, he had the private key copied and he copied over somebody who was watching it because like if I can watch it um, you can watch it this information is all public like this is on the block explorer and somebody saw that I'm like okay cool so 64 EOS he got it and you look at the name EOS Robin Good um, seems like that's it no, there's nothing else you can do about it and that's what gone this was on the reddit I read and I thought I should share with you because we keep talking about different story but this is an instant where I can point to you um, like how important it is to write down your private keys and keep it safe and make sure that you know what you're doing like memo is a subject where everybody can see don't put your private keys anywhere else don't give it to somebody and uh, once you make a mistake like that and if you put that in a memo and it's become public there's nothing much you can do except to actually create a new account and import uh, start using that one and get rid of this one because this is no longer safe at all if I can see it anybody else can see it public keys are fine private keys are not private keys are private they're supposed to be kept private all right, so that's all for this video. Like this video, please remember to click that like button. And if you um, are a new subscriber and you're watching my channel for the first time, please subscribe. I'm so happy to have you here. And I will see you soon. Happy investing.